are we one minute after 12. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to our live class. So as you can hear, I still have this sexy husky voice on for the next few days. But listen, bear with me. And I have the bottle of vodka here just in case I need to take a little swig. So how's everybody keeping? Today we're going to do a dried uh, a dried wheat. It is wheat we're using today. Wheat, yeah. Dried wheat door swag. Okay, so like last week or the week previous, we did the door eats, like using, do you remember the oat barley that we had or the winter barley? So this week we're kind of changing around. We are going to have some giveaways. So I need people to share our page. So if you do share the page, make sure that you write in the comments that you shared it because you're just going to be watching out for names there and you will be part of our giveaway. And to start off, we need to know who's watching, where are you watching in from and what's the weather like? Because it's absolutely beautiful here in Ireland and it always is as soon as the kids go back to school, the weather takes up absolutely massive, as we say here in Dublin. Um, and just if anybody's watching on TikTok, if you invite people to the TikTok, well, then you, um, you'll you also be able to chance for to win. Uh, yeah, lots of notifications coming in here. Carmel is watching in from Wexford. She's Hi, saying Carmel. good morning. Noreen is watching in from Mallows. Good Hi, morning. Noreen. Maggie May Rush Flowers. Flowers in Rush is saying good morning. Uh, Blossoms and Berries is watching in from Lismore in Waterford. And it's sunny and it's miles down Brilliant. there. Good morning, Claudia. How are you? Or good afternoon. We're just on the border here. <laughs> Um, we Gail is watching in from Aberdeen. Um, who else have we got? Let me so see. We've loads watching. of people watching Absolutely in. Geraldine watching. is watching in from East Cork, and um, Eileen is watching in from Newcastle. Okay, so big, big welcome to everybody. Fair play to you, getting involved. And this is something that you'll be easily able to copy at home. Now, all you're going to need is a short piece of rope and a roll of the real work. That's all you're going to need to make this, okay? Plus, obviously, whatever cereals, we call these the cereal killers, okay? Whatever cereal just you, you decide to kind of like forage yourself. So as I said, if you were watching us over the past couple of weeks, we were salvaging our foraging oats, we got barley, we got wheat, and today we're going to use up the wheat that we foraged okay and but actually I, the wheat when we got it was still green yeah and um, because the farmer brought me into the field and did he tell me it was early spring wheat wheat and mm. um, but obviously by the time we're using it now it's well dried yeah, out yeah. so yeah. this was all collected in was it july year july it was yeah, yeah it was, it was july in wexford, yeah it was in wexford so yeah this is wexford wheat so that girl that's watching you could have been looking out the out the window at deirdre running around your fields robbing your wheat okay with because the farmer he was with, with me farmer. and actually these are going back down to going him back down to him absolutely yeah. so what we're going to do a lot of people say it's not that you can't get rope you know what i mean but it's kind of like uh, like where I get a bit of rope, where I get a real work, and they're going to be our giveaways today. So we're going to post these out to how many people, Deirdre? Well, let's, we're on four platforms, so let's do four. Okay, we'll do four at the moment, okay? So, and how she's going to pick the winner is the more times she's seen you coming up that you've shared it. Or commented. Know, like, or, or you're commenting, or you're tagging maybe somebody, you know, that way. And it's the easiest and fairest way. It's kind of like she'll see the same names kind of coming up all the time. We're just going to randomly pick one, okay? So what you need to do is get your wheat, but listen, this could be the barley or it could be the oats. And if you watch the wheat that I done a mixture of it, you know that way. Or again, anybody that has maybe dried jip or dried limonium or dried status, you could use that as well. And just a little heads up for next Wednesday, okay? Next Wednesday for our live class, we're going to do the hydrangeas, okay? So obviously, um, my hydrangeas are just coming, well, they're actually in flower at the moment on my hydrangea tree. And I know some people have tried this earlier on, you know, in season with the hydrangeas, but the hydrangeas that are in flower at the moment are nice and hardy, and they've been toughened up because they've been gone through the Irish summer or the UK summer, you know what I mean? They're kind of like toughies, a bit like ourselves, and they are going to last and they're going to dry out absolutely brilliantly. So again, even if like for next Wednesday and you want to join in when I'm doing the hydrangea one, you'll also need the rope and you'll also need the real wire. So as I said, that's why our giveaway today, we're going to give away kind of like these items. Now, what I would recommend anybody to do that wants to get involved with next Wednesday, so now I'm ahead of the posse, okay, is pick your hydrangeas on Monday. I'm going to do it on Wednesday, right? 
Pick the hydrangeas on Monday, but I want you to treat them and condition them exactly how I show you in the video. So lots of you have signed up to our free online program. Do you remember we gave away the free online program on the conditioning and treatment of over 50 different varieties of fresh flowers and foliage? And if you go down the index alphabetically under H, I bet, you'll find hydrangeas, okay? And watch that video, do exactly what it says, you know what I mean, on Monday, to them hydrangeas and then on Tuesday evening or early Wednesday morning just take them out of the water and they'll be ready to work with there's no drying out of them they'll dry using the, the method I'm going to show you next Wednesday now if there's anybody watching there and they haven't yet signed up to the online free programs cost you absolutely nothing just put in the comments there that you're looking for the link for the free um, online course and Sinead, if she's online, she may be online later on this evening, she'll pass the link on to you all. So using your roll of reel wire, you can see the way I've just kind of gathered all the wheat together. And then just get the end of the reel wire, kind of secure it with your thumb. You can see there, I'm just kind of putting my thumb on it. And then just wind, keep the kind of roll, the spool wound up tightly. And then wrap it around four or five times. And then just cut the wire. And you can tuck in the little bit of wire just so that it won't stick in your hand. And that's what you need then is lots and lots of bunches. Now, when I've done the dough wreaths, I normally say it takes about 36 bunches. I think I have 36 here in the box because when I wired this up, I was kind of planning that maybe I would do a, a dough wreath. And then it was just dear to suggest yesterday when we were on the live class yesterday, she said, sure, why don't you do the swag instead for a change? Now, all the stalks, these are actually, these stalks are actually off the oats or the barley. I can't remember which one. And I have been um, reliably informed that this is still called straw. And it's either oat straw, barley straw, or wheat straw. So it doesn't matter what cereal killer it came from, it's still going to be called straw. And I, I can't remember which one I took it off. You know that way, I'm not sure whether like farmers can recognise it. They probably can. And just in the box here, you can see, that's just where I have all the bunches of wheat already wired up. So I'm going to use this straw. Okay, I just have a little bit of wire around them to secure them in place. I'm going to use these to secure around the rope just to make it look a little bit nicer, okay? And a little bit more natural looking. And I know over on the Floristry Coach, and lots of our followers are members of the Floristry Coach. If Viv Bradford is watching there, maybe she might put up the tag or the link. So anybody who's in training at the moment, you know, that way wants to be a florist, is a florist, has completed their training, attending a course or whatever it might be, do you know the way, it's well worth going over and joining Viv Bradford's um, group. But the reason why I'm saying that is between yesterday and today, there's a little bit of a, one call it row, a discussion. There's a discussion going on about phone free. So our design today is going to be completely phone free. So I do have some foam here beside me, but I might leave that till another day. Do you know but, what I mean? And again, there's nothing wrong with florists and flower shops using foam. Absolutely not. And that's what the discussion is. So rather than me trying to explain it, pop over and should get involved you know the, you know the irish get in there and, and say what you have to say or whatever but really there's brilliant comments you know that way and the thing is yeah it's all absolutely brilliant you know what i mean to encourage foam free and even here at the school we have lots of foam free courses you know that way and i again encourage as much sustainability as we possibly can but again there is sometimes especially like in funeral work or in very large flower structures, like for wedding and events and that, it's not possible, do you know that way, to get what you want. And in the weather. With the weather that we have in Ireland as well. And then also commercially, it's different for somebody that's maybe just doing one wedding a week. But if you have a busy florist who has bouquets on Monday and funerals on Tuesday and arrangements on Wednesday and weddings on Thursday and a big funeral on Friday and a massive big event on Saturday, they need to be able to get themselves organised and that's what the, I suppose, the joy of foam is that we can do a lot pre-preparation, pre do you know the way, in advance. So it really depends on the circumstances and also sometimes foam kind of speeds it up. So to keep the, the labour charges down that little bit, sometimes it suits. But again, we're not going to get into it here because it's all happening over on the floristry coach. So as I said, somebody tag them there if Viv isn't watching. Tagged is Celia, Cecily, Celia, watch them. 
Um, Somebody, Celine, I think she might have Celine. been. Somebody but you know, me. Jeanette, on TikTok, we have Pope John Paul is watching. Oh. And he says, the Pope loves you. The Pope loves Kay's Flair School. Can you send a bundle? Oh, Francis. Can Fair you send a bundle Francis. to... No, this is John Paul. Oh, John Paul. Oh, yeah. it's not. It's still the Pope. Yeah. Um, so he wants to know, can you send a, um, a bundle to the Vatican? Absolutely, John Paul. I actually loved John Paul. Do you remember when John Paul came to Ireland? Anybody know what year? Because I actually know the year. So I definitely think there'll be a prize for whoever can tell us what year. And if you can actually tell us the date, because I actually know the date <laughs> as well. It was, the, it was our first Jesus, year. Jesus, Jeanette, you're very holy. It was the first year in secondary school and we were given a project on Pope John Paul coming to Ireland. So it sticks in my mind. But if anybody has the year that Pope John Paul came to Ireland, you'll definitely win a prize. You know that way? And it won't be a prize for everybody in case we've loads of holy Mary Joes there and they all know the answer. Okay, we'll get started. So with our straw, you know that way, what I'm going to do is I have a length of rope. What length would you say that is? That's about 30 centimetres. I'd say about 50 here, do you know? So <laughs> we have a ruler, okay? So let's be exact so somebody will ask us so a ruler is either 12 inches or 30 centimeters so there's your 30 centimeters or your 12 inches and there 50. we cause it yeah so it's definitely around 50 50 centimeters or 18 to 20 inches approximately but remember we had the discussion before about posh hall doors so posh houses have posh hall doors Lots of money, I'd say, you know, the Vatican, there'd be lots of Oh, there'd be a big there, door right? in the Vatican, yeah. Big doors. So you need a longer rope, you will, John Paul, right? So what we're going to do is, I'm going to trim off the end of this, just to kind of tidy up a little bit, okay? I'm going to place it onto my rope. Here we go. And then I'm going to get my real wire, and I'm going to attach it around it there a couple of times. Move down a little bit, attach it around again. Move down a little bit, attach it around again. I'm going to do the other side in a few minutes in case anybody's wondering. That's why I'm leaving big spaces in between it. Move down another bit. And you can see I'm short, you see, to get to the end. So again, I'm just going to get another um, bits, few bits of straw. And I don't want it to be too tidy, you know, that way. So even though I trimmed the top part, and I'll probably trim the bottom part, I'm not going to trim this part here, right? So again, I'm just going to overlap there when I ran out. Add in a bit. I'm not worried about like this sticking out because I know I'm going to go back over this again because I'm going to do the other side of the rope. Down another bit. And we're just about down to the end of the rope, as you can see there. So any of the straw that's left over, I'm going to cut it off. It's going into the magic bin in case anybody is wondering. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work back up the rope, you know, that way. And I'm going to cover the back of the rope with the straw. So again, on this end, I'm going to tidy it off. Now, if anybody has any questions, any comments or any, um, what do you give to the Pope? What's it not requests? Um, I don't special know. intentions, okay? Oh, so anybody that has special intentions or requests for John Paul or Pope over on TikTok, absolutely put it in the comments and should we see what he can do do you know that way i wonder what country he lives oh obviously he's in it the vatican so oh, in italy yeah he's in italian so what well, he was the polish pope wasn't he he was the polish pope yeah, yeah. he was so we're gonna and there's loads of answers thing. coming in i actually don't know if it's the right answer because i don't know what year it was well, i hope i'm right <laughs> so do i was i nine what? what was i nine well the year i went to secondary i was 12 yeah so you would have been nine okay but then they've the right answer <laughs> Uh, breed extensions, there's a petition for oh, special by the intentions. Way, I, I'm just thinking, our, oh, yeah, sure. It was Pope Francis that came the second time. But yeah. I'm going back now a long time. Yeah, no, well, that's the answer that's coming in. There's lots of the answers coming in then, yeah. Now, again, just where we're kind of running out there a little bit, we're just going to add in another bit. Okay, um, and just a reminder, Jeanette, that today is the last day for but getting the special offer on the Christmas the online course. course. Yeah, now, we listen, we were in on days, which is last night, you know, that way. Um, when when the bookings come in for any of the courses, like not just the Christmas course, our phones kind of set up a notification and we go cha-ching, you know, that way. And I was there last night, and we hear, here's my husband, what's your phone going cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching? Because it was obviously all the bookings coming in last night, people availing of the special offer, the early bird special. So again, today is the last day, 12 o'clock tonight. After 12, once you, book, you go to book your place, you won't be able to avail of the early bird special. And the early bird special is basically, you get a free Christmas door wreath making kit posted out to your house the last week in October, very first week in November, for you to make up a sample as part of your training, as part of your course. Now, unfortunately, it's only for people living in Ireland or Northern Ireland, they'll be able to avail of it. 
So there's my base kind of made up, as you can see there, rough and ready. And the, re the rope kind of gives it a little bit of strength because our straw is a little bit, as you can see, kind of weak. But if you watch back to our video, I think it was about two weeks ago, you will see where I actually use this straw for making an actual base on a wire frame, do you know the way, for our, um, our door wreath. Now again, if anybody hasn't got a rope, you could get a length of a coat hanger, you know, just a length of the wire, snip it to the length that you want, and you could do exactly the same job. Because the coat hanger is going to be thinner, just use extra straw. Or again, if anybody has any suggestions there, like the inside of a kitchen towel holder might be a bit too bendy, especially if it gets kind of wet outside. What else could you use? Um, um, a bit of wire, like a... Yeah, a set of wire, like a set of coat hanger wire. Again, if anybody's watching and you have a suggestion of something else, you know what I mean? Just for other people that's watching, that would be brilliant. Mary Deacon Kinsley on Instagram says, um, could Pope Francis or Pope John Paul sort out the electricity prices? That would be a great request. Okay, so John Paul, what's the chances of uh, saying a little prayer or a novena? I think we'd get more requests think, for novena. Yeah. Or a nail rosary thrown in there and see is there any chance of bringing down the... ESB bills in Ireland because they're just gone off the wall completely. It's okay for you sitting on your arse over in the Vatican on your red velvet seat <laughs> with your red velvet hat on your head with your arse nice and toasted. But over here, we're going to be actually freezing in the winter because we can't afford to heat our houses up. Uh, Breda says a bamboo stick. Perfect. Fair play to you. I knew somebody, I knew our, our father was a twin. Um, Anita says saying. a water pipe, like a bit of a water bit hose. Water pipe, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Garden hose, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So, anybody thinks of anything, put it in the comments because somebody will say, Geez, I have a bit of bamboo stick. Or, do you know, even a plastic ruler. <laughs> yeah. Do you know that way? Anything at all, just to give you something to kind of like work around. Okay, so I've all our bunches made up. So what we're going to do is our first little bunch of wheat, okay? We're going to place it on the end of our base, okay? Onto our straw base now. We're going to place it onto the end. And basically it's going to be one in the middle, one on the right and one on the left. So using the real wire, I'm going to kind of hold it this way here. Using the real wire, I'll go around the end of the bunch, you know what I mean? At least twice there, just to hold it in place. You see at the end. John Castle says you're going to be struck by lightning. <laughs> Oh. You see, Pope John Paul is dead now, is he? I, yeah, I is, think he, he is, is yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're at the funeral, dude. Oh, Jesus, we got the flowers. So it's Pope Francis that's there now, you know that way. I say his arse is nice and warm as I well. I say his arse is nice and warm, yeah. He hasn't, he hasn't got to worry about ESB bills. So now what I'm going to do is on either side of that bunch is I'm going to make kind of like a little fan shape. So one on the left of it and one on the right of it. You see, to make it kind of like... I was going to say nice and fanny, <laughs> nicely spread out, okay? Well, Fran, that's a Francis, Pope Francis, yes. Yeah. Nice and Francis, cranny, spread out, okay? So there we go, and there's our three little bunches. So when you're making the bunches, don't skimp on them, do you know that way? But then what happens is if you make them too big, the wire is not strong enough to hold them together and they'll fall apart on you. So possibly 12 to 15 pieces of wheat will work out grand. Um, somebody says a pool noodle it would make a thicker base as well. You know oh, that you yeah. know the noodles. That would be per so anyone living in the Vatican, posh houses, yeah. posh hall doors, big hall doors, the pool noodle would be absolutely perfect. Now what I'm doing is I'm working up my straw base. I'm kind of working back here, do you see, a couple of inches or so, because I'm going to do the same thing, one in the middle. But when I add in this one, okay, I want to make sure that, I just need to get back another little bit. I just need to make sure that it's just going to overlap. Do you see the way? So you don't want to leave a space, but then you don't want to overlap it completely. Do you know the way? So you just need to kind of come back enough that you're obviously covering the wire, but you're not being skimpy about it. So that's why you need to move the roller wire up the base a little bit that you're in your spot and again you put the wire going around and pull it nice and tight at least twice okay so that's our fourth bunch in and then to go nice and fanny we're going to put one on the right and one on the left of it and you know what with the pool noodle you could probably make a row of five going across yeah so the wider and thicker that you make your your base the wider and thicker you can make your door swag so again i'm holding the three of them in place and now i'm going to go around the three of them do you know the middle one as well you know, three, four or five times, just to make sure it's nice and secure. And then I'm going to move up my straw base a couple of centimeters again. 
that I'm ready for the next few bunches, you know what I mean? And again, the same idea, the next row of bunches, three, one in the middle, one on the right, one on the left, nice and fanny. I think that sounds good, doesn't it? Nice yeah. and fanny. And um, it'll make it nice and chunky. And this is what it looks like at the back, just so that you can see. So it's nice to be able to see the straw at the back instead of being able to see the rope or the pool noodle or the garden hose and all them great ideas that was mentioned. Uh, Breda said that they use the pool noodles for their door eats. Brilliant, because you're making the circle out. Yeah. Brilliant, great idea. And nice and light as well. It would be nice and light, exactly. Yeah. Now, the only thing is when it comes to maybe fresh material, so for this side, the type of thing would be better. Fresh material is quite heavy, do you know, that way. And also, sometimes the idea is that your base, maybe like a moss base, just to kind of keep this in mind, is going to keep the material fresher for a little bit longer, or the foliage base. Now, you know that way. So it obviously depends on what you're making, but it's still absolutely a great idea. So I've got three more bunches on, just to kind of let you see how this is working. And again, I'm going to work my way. I'm losing a few little bits of my wheat as I go along. I'm moving up my straw base again, and I'm ready for the next three bunches. Trina just wants to know um, when is the last day to book to module one she's just waiting to get paid the 7th of September okay and the only thing is all the kits are going out in the post tomorrow and Friday right anybody that has booked on so far so they will have their kits like early next week middle of next week now there's absolutely no panic on them some kits will take a little bit longer if they go to Northern Ireland or the UK but we want to try and make sure that everybody has their kit by the first week of the program. So start on the 14th. We kind of hope that by the 16th or the 18th of September. So we do try and post out the kits that little bit early just to kind of be 100%. But you'll still have plenty of time. And um, nothing happens till the 14th of September until day one in your bloom room. And the email is actually going out this weekend. For anybody that's booked on, look out for your email Saturday or Sunday this weekend. And that will be your invite into your Bloom Room, but also your login and your password for setting up your account that you're on our online program. Because that was a question I got asked yesterday. I'm just again moving my way up the swag here. Somebody asked me yesterday that with the classes, is it going to be here on the Facebook? So absolutely not. Any of the professional commercial programs, these are all free classes, you know, you're not paying for these. Oh, Noreen um, says she got a kit this morning. Fair play to you. She's obviously module three, is it Noreen? Yes. Yeah. A lot, and I, Noreen is our scholarship. Who was I talking to this morning on the phone? She got her module three kit. Breda, Bri Bridget. Bridget, yeah. yeah. Bridget got her module three kit as well. So that's great, Nori. Just hold on to it. Do nothing to it until obviously day one. Again, a lot of the module three kits went out in the post yesterday. And not all of them. Do you know that way? Anna I'm wants to know, do they need a cooler? No, not necessarily. Um, because when your flowers arrive, they'll arrive on a Friday night, Anna. And that Saturday and Sunday is a weekend that we actually work with you. So normally the course is Monday to Friday, you know what I mean? But obviously you can join in at any time. It's 24-7 within reason. Do you know that way? 24-7 that you can attend your classes. Obviously we're supervising between nine and half three. But the weekend of the flower delivery, the Saturday and the Sunday, all the tutors in the school work that weekend so that you're able to work at home and get feedback advice and any help that you need. Emma says she finally got a meeting about funding and took our advice and she hounded them. Yeah, just hound them. Um, it's the only way it is Bridget's, oh, Bridget's actually watching so she can't wait for not module 3 um, Blossoms and Berry says Nor Noreen enjoyed the penguin bar best part <laughs> there was no penguin bars going out now we had to stop the penguin bars um, with Covid, COVID. Um, Claudia so we were, we're sort of looking for an alternative um, let me see who else have we got questions from um, Andrea says what time tonight is the last for to book the Christmas course 12 o'clock yeah, it will. And it, it, the system closes it down, do you know that way? So, like, once it goes 12 o'clock, you're into the 1st of September, and um, the early board special won't be valid anymore. As uh, somebody said when you were doing the the swag earlier on, that would be great for a, a witch's broom, and it would be Ooh, if you yes. were. To... You'd need to go a bit more fannier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it'd be a great idea. And you could probably do it, and uh, that's a great idea. On a sweep and brush handle. Yeah. Like, go into a hardware shop, buy, or if you have an old sweep and brush handle, and you could just do it on the end of it. That's, and you know, that would be very sustainable, dear. It would be very How environmentally friendly would that be? Absolutely. Do you know, that was something I was going to mention um, earlier on when I was saying about being phone free. And I was saying, like, it's all great being sustainable, but what about them saying phone free flowers who still use their van or their car for delivering the flowers? Don't see use on your broomstick for delivering <laughs> your flowers, do we? But now that's what we're going to, that's a great idea. Yeah. 
Oh, fair play to you. All flower deliveries would be on a broomstick, <laughs> um, even over to the Vatican. Would they let witches into the Vatican, I wonder? <laughs> uh, let me see, Noreen is laughing. Um, I have four people at the moment for our... Jeanette, you may tell us the date because... Was it the 26th of November? No, September. September. 26th of September, 1978? 79. Oh, 79. There 19, you go. <laughs> 1979. Fair play, yes. So, um, so I wasn't so, as bright as I thought I was. No, you weren't as bright no. as you thought no, you were. She's smart. I, 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 I didn't pass that project. <laughs> you failed religion. <laughs> I failed religion. <laughs> um, okay, so our winners are, um, at the moment, we have Margaret Lynch from McCroom in Cork. Fair I think you were on, um, I think you were on Facebook. Marion O'Brien, Margaret Barrett, 24, and Mary Deegan Kinsler. All M's. Mmm. Mm. Um, there, are, there are winners. So if you drop us an email to info at flareschoolireland.com and we will, with your name and your full address, we will stick rope and the real wire in the post to you so you can make your own witch's broomstick or door wreath or door swag, whichever you wish to do. It's actually looking gorgeous, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, it looks really, really well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Now, for decorating the end part of it, tidy that up there, one of the bits falling out, is I'm going to use some of the rope, okay? So this is the rope that we got in Aldi before the summer, okay? Um, we came online, Actually, we it was showed little. it. What? It was little. Oh, little, okay. We came online, we showed it to you, and like there was packets for a fiver, and like this was one type, there was Hessian was another type, and raffia was another type. That was kind of the hedge that, you know, I mean, rolls of it. So it was absolutely great value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rope kind of as a bit of a decoration now. And I'm going to wrap it around the ends. Just to start, I need to kind of like overlap my pieces a few times just to um, tidy it up. I'm going to throw that down. And um, Brida says, no girls, it was the 29th of September. Um, not the 26th of September. Was it around that date anyway? Yeah. Because I know I went back to school, that was the year I went to secondary, and Audrey Goggins was the religion teacher, and she gave us all a scrapbook on day one, and she sat back then herself on, on her arse, <laughs> toasting herself, and told us all to do a project on the Pope coming to Ireland. And uh, Mary Deacon Kinsley says she remembers the date because she got married on the 26th of September, yeah. 10 years later. Um, so it was between the 26th and the 29th yeah. because remember he was in Dublin but he was also yeah, in Galway and Knock yeah, and all Nock. those stations and what was what was the big say he said in Knock it was either Knock or Galway young people what's going on the price for whoever comes up first with the answer what was the thing Pope John Paul was remembered for saying I can't remember ah, and um, little have the are... rope Ireland yeah, I don't know. And he finished it off with something else. Ah, I was too young. Him. I was only nine. I was only a baby, and I didn't do any projects on him. Um, Breda yeah, says book stations. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, and then really well. to come back down again, rough and ready. Do you know that sort of way? Uh, young people of Ireland, I love you. That's it. So you <laughs> Bernie McKernan. I so. tell you, that's a good religious woman there watching. So yeah. Bernie, send me your email address and I will send you out your rope and real wire. Uh, finest Flares of you Ireland. Pope John Paul started? This is it. Pope John Paul over on TikTok and he hasn't even replied. Uh, so he's probably gone. He's not even watching he's us anymore. Mass. Maybe he's gone oh, he's probably gone to Mass or Confession. Uh, young people of Ireland, I love you. There you go. Mm. Um, we're not young anymore. Uh, do you remember, like, we were all watching on the telly, well, all the dubs anyway. And we're watching it on the telly and like we were nearly crying <laughs> when we said that. Emma Rose, young people of Mayo are magic, he said. <laughs> I did miss that bit, miss that bit. We missed that bit when he we went to knock. We could have said that, all yeah. right. But it was the young people of Ireland, I love you, I remember. Like, <laughs> what did he do when he when he landed in Ireland, Aer Lingus, Dublin Airport, wasn't wasn't Mayo Airport, it was no. Dublin Airport. What did he do when he landed, okay? Another prize for that. <laughs> Um, let me say they're all yeah, just to let you see our rope handle there and I just secured a bit of wire on the end and stuck the wire into the straw base and uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a kind of a hessian bowl right so we're just going to wrap that around keeping it kind of fairly simple make it a little bit Breda Stenson said he kissed the ground that's it big prize there for Breda jeez we're well, having a full religion <laughs> lesson here at the today now I can't remember anything else I was only 12 you know that way so I can't remember anything so Breda send us your email address or not your email send us an email to info at flareschoolireland.com and with your full address and we'll stick that in the post to you today and guys if you do make up one of these post it over to Flurry Fun Group we'd love to see it Um, let me anyway, see how's the sharing going you see they're all I actually forgot they're how they're all doing the rosary and 
saying prayers and all the rest and we're missing out. So there's our little kind of hessian bow. It's on a wire. So I'm just going to, no, I'm, I was going to fish it through, but it's not happening. So I'm cutting the wire off at the back, but not the knot. So the bow is still being held. And I'm going to use a little bit of our rope, okay, our holy rope. And I'm going to just tie it around the centre, which actually helps to kind of like um, hide the little knot, okay, that the piece of wire that's in the centre. Rita said, um, I was only 11. Mary Geary says, be, be fair, I said it first. <laughs> um, it depends on what platform you're on, Mary, because there's four platforms going here at the moment. Um, Emma Rose says, remember the glass wheelie bin? Things, the thing he went around in, the... the oh, yeah. The Pope Mobile. Pope Mobile. That was it. I think they still have that. Do you remember it was it was kind of put into storage. So I'm just wrapping the the rope around and I'm just going to tie a knot at the back. Darshina says, Do you do a spring course? We do a, we do and we we'll not the spring. Not the spring. Well, we have the autumn one. That's coming up. 8th of October, is it? The 9th of October, I think it is, yeah. The it's 9th of October. Sun it's a Sunday yeah. and it's a wreath making course and there'll be demos at it as well. So you'll make your own autumn door wreath. It's in Temple Oak. No, I had to cut off the string. I should have left them on to make a loop oh, yeah. so that you could hang it on the door. So, but you just get another piece of string and kind of tie it around it. So again, that's our little hessian bow then. Just kind of put onto the, the end there, or the top there, I suppose you would call it. And there is our wheat swag. So again, it has cost very little, a little bit of labour involved in it, you know that way? Because remember, all them little bunches all had to be made up. So that kind of like took a little bit of time. And I had it done in advance to save kind of time. Um, you, but again, I used all our straw around our piece of rope, which is very inexpensive, you know, that way. It was just, and the reason why we're giving them away, it's just a lot of people might find it difficult to get their hands on a length of rope and a roll of real wire. So that's why we said we do Just hold up again, today. they want to see it. Claudia just wants to know, how are you fixing the end of the rope? So Claudia, do you remember when I tied on the bow? Um, I just tied a knot, but what I should have done was left, I cut off the raw bits that was left of uh, habit. I should have left a little bit of length on it. I could have used it as a door hanger, but what you could also use is a bit of your hand tie twine. You see to make like a hanger for hanging it on the door. And then the rope that I wrapped around the handle part, just in case you're asking about that. At the beginning, I went, I left a little bit sticking out and I went around that piece two or three times and I worked my way up to the top. And then I worked my way back down to the end. So the piece that, was, that I started with was completely camouflaged. And the raw bit that was left over, what I just did then was I used a 20 gauge wire. I made a hairpin bend, wrapped it around, see like that. I cut it short and that piece of wire, I actually stuck into the straw base and that kind of secured that. Um, some, Siobhan says you could make it with lavender too. Absolutely. It would be beautiful in lavender. And if you remember a good few weeks ago when the lavender was in flower in people's garden, we gathered up lots of lavender. We're not going to tell you where we foraged that from. And I used the lavender and the limonium and I made a door wreath and it's actually still hanging on my own door. Home. And you still smell and when it. Yeah. Down in the morning, she always says, God, you can still smell, smell the lavender off that. Do you know what I mean? And it's well dried out. So what I'm just doing is just kind of tying an extra bit of hand tied twine kind of in underneath the bow. Just going to tie a double here at the back and then these strings then can be used as a little hanger for whoever wants to hang it on their knockers over in the Vatican or wherever they're going to hang it so again just to kind of show you I'll just do a little double knot here this can be short well it can be shortened it can't be lengthened because I'm obviously at the cutting it but um you see the way we can make I like think it's gorgeous yeah so that can be shortened to whoever you know or they can cut it and they can tie it onto their door knob or their door knocker or their the frannies, <laughs> wherever they want to. Karen be. over on TikTok, where can we find out about the reach tutorials? Um, Karen, if you click the link in the bio, you will get some contact details there on TikTok or drop us an email info at flareschoolireland.com and we can send you on any information. <laughs> Brita said knockers and frannies. <laughs> <laughs> All um, happens here at Case Flower School. You see, this is what happens when the boat joins us. <laughs> um, I think Finest Flowers Ireland must have a field of barley and wheat because they're chatting among themselves here. And Mary Brady says she's going to go and raid the yard. So I don't know who has it. So okay. tell us where you live. Put up the link then, <laughs> Finest Flowers, there. And if you do sell bundles, you know that's. Yeah, of wheat. I actually I have four left. So it took 32 bundles because I had 36 wired up, okay? 
So it took 32 bundles of the wheat, you know that way. So she'd be able to tell you how many um, acres of wheat you need. I would have a clue. <laughs> haven't got a clue. It was in a black sack, you know, that sort of way. It wasn't a full black sack. And then obviously the Mary straw, says she's living on a farm. Yeah, the straw takes up probably the bulk of it, you know that way. And what you could also do is you could give that a dash of spray. That's not that's not too bad for shedding, but if you have something that's shedding a little bit, hairspray. So just get yourself some strong hairspray, any of the brands, it doesn't matter, pound shop brand will do, and spray it on it. Also, if anybody has any natural oils, you know, like the aromatherapy oils, lavender oil or rose oil or you know yourself, any of them kind of citronella oils, oils keep the flies oils. away. Remember we talked about the flies yesterday. So again, if you just drop a few dabs of oil on it, again, if you have a porch way, when people walk into your porch, they'll get a lovely smell of it. I don't think there's such a thing as a wheat oil. Do you know that way? But there she wants to know how much the spring course. We haven't got it done yet, so we don't know. We don't know. Um, It'll probably be in around the same price as the autumn one and the Christmas one. Um, Beatrice says, beautiful, just beautiful for harvest. Thanks a million. Can you use hairspray on lavender? Um, Suzanne yep. wants to know, absolutely. No bother yeah. at all. No bother. Yeah, so I think, and, so and again, anyway, if you have any more questions that you're watching on the replay. Put them all in the comments, because as you know, we go back later on this evening, when we're doing the rosary at six o'clock this evening, we go through every comment and we respond to everybody. So if you have any question at all even if it's only to say hi or bless you or in the name of the father we'll say something to everybody and we'll answer any questions that you have and that will only be on facebook and youtube unfortunately the comments and the questions do not stay on tiktok or on but instagram but just drop us a message or go into the replay of it and you can comment there uh, how much is the autumn one? The autumn wreath making course is 90 euro. 90 but that's euros. for the real life class. Great tip from the hairspray. Suzanne says cheers. Um, Hope you're always sharing this video. Again, we really appreciate when we do these live classes that if people could share. And remember, next Wednesday we'll be back here at 12 o'clock again. And we're going to be using the hydrangeas. Now, he doesn't know it yet, but Austin Courtney in Rialto, okay, he has a fabulous garden of hydrangeas. Now, last year he voluntarily offered them. This year, if he doesn't offer them, we're just going to go up ourselves and forage, and forage them. Them, yeah. But um, so Austin, um, set your house alarm. We're <laughs> on our way. <laughs> and everybody else, uh, condition the hydrangeas exactly how I show you on the conditioning video. If anybody hasn't got that free online conditioning video, put a comment that you're looking for the link, and Sinead will post that link up for you. She'll respond to you and give you the link, and you can sign up to it. And then just go down the index, because there's over 50 videos in it. So go down the index to the hydrangeas and you can follow the instructions. Uh, just last one here. Um, well, finest Flair says, ladies, you're the best. Thanks a million for the fun. Uh, Susan says she's just been to the whole of sales this morning and she bought a small bunch of wheat for £385. So she's obviously in the UK. I'd need loads for that beautiful swag. Yes, you need to find a farmer. You need to find a farmer. And there's loads of farms in the UK. Do you know yeah. that way? So, and if not, come over to Ireland on your holidays the next time the Pope is coming. You can get a few <laughs> prayers in. We'll send you down to finest flowers there. You know what I mean? And you can run through the hay in the week like what me and Deirdre did. And we'll play the house on the prairie music for you. <laughs> so listen, we're going to love you and leave you. We're going to leave it at that. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Talk to you all very soon. If anybody has any questions, inquiries about the classes, either put them in the comments, drop us an email, info at flareschoolireland.com or message us to any of the social media pages and we'll get back to you. Love you and leave you. Don't forget to share. Love you and leave you.